This video was made possible thanks to EA Game Changers. Well, hello there, it's Krint and welcome to another Speed Beat. So, um, this week I was lucky enough to get early access to Discover University. So, before that, like, I pre built some stuff. So, this is what you're currently seeing. So, today we're gonna build a library. Um, with the pack. Obviously currently it has none of the items, but when we get to the actual build footage You will see them like being put there uh, So let me tell you what you're currently seeing is I usually take a screenshot every seven minutes Sometimes I forget so it's more um, And I make it into a time-lapse. I'm usually very indecisive when it comes to creating the exterior Especially since this is a theme that I'm not particularly, or I guess an architecture that I'm not particularly familiar with, or I should probably say not familiar at all, I had no idea what I was doing. So to create the sale originally before having early access to the pack or seeing the content like myself and how the word is around it, I saw is her name Lil Simi? I'm not sure. Like she went to Sim Camp and she did like this word overview. So I saw that and I saw the library. I'm like, sign me in. <laughs> and I saw the video that James Turner did. So I was like, hell yeah. I saw like the actual um, windows and everything. So <laughs> I placed some placeholder windows and then I replaced them. Currently, I still haven't gotten early access, but I saw what items we had available, so I was like, I can do some rooms. And then I decided, you know what? No, I can't. Let's not fool ourselves. So, uh, the library. I decided to do the library because first things first, it's, I think, the biggest lot. And <laughs> I usually... Um, uh, and never do them because like I know they will take forever so I was like okay this time you're going to do <laughs> the biggest lot first and libraries is actually if you go into my gallery you will see that my most downloaded build is a gallery that I did for Newcrest um, since then I haven't done many galleries galleries of libraries I did a tiny one for um, Strangerville but that's it so for me it's like the big comeback because like if you go into the gallery and you search libraries it's the most downloaded one and i'm like why it's been forever <laughs> no one else has made something better i don't believe that so i was terrified going into that because for me i had to top my previous begin which let me tell you it's almost like Meh. Easy, 2000, what was that, 15? Creamy has nothing on you, which is true. My um, style and like the way I build has developed so much throughout the years. Uh, I had gone so, I have gotten so much better into building, giving things shape. Uh, but I went to the interior, I'm like, ah, that, that's, that's actually nice. <laughs> So, at that point, I was like, okay, fuck. Uh, but I think that I like this one. I don't know if I like it more, but I like it. Uh, they are both very different. The one is more industrial modern, and this is more European. So, I had so much trouble making a library. Um, as I told you, I didn't have early access to the pack at the time that I did the exterior. So I was like, I didn't realize that the lot was 40 by 50, not 50 by 40, like, you know, X, Y uh, coordinates. So I started doing a different one, which was more French-like. Um, you will see it tomorrow, like in a different form of build, but it didn't match. And then I did a different building, but it was too Tudor-like. Uh, which was also 50 by 40 and then I did a brick one because I was like okay how is the library that it's already there it's a brick one let's do a brick one but then I realized it's too American what the hell am I doing I don't know and I got so mad with myself like I had a meltdown like 
I've spent so many hours building libraries that no one is ever going to see. What am I doing? Uh, so I did a full-blown research about what the architecture style of the world around is, which if you ask me, I cannot tell you, but I found a picture from Poland that has similar, I cannot even pronounce the name of the city, so I'm not even gonna try, that has similar architecture style. I, like, Sim Frost mentioned, and I think it's very obvious that this is England, UK based, but when searching for UK townhouses, I got nothing like that. So I got even more mad, and yeah, I searched, you know, based on that Poland image, and I realized that the style is more Dutch-like, and Amsterdam and cities generally in the Netherlands. So I was like, okay. And I tried it again, and I had no idea what I was doing. Like, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't ask me. I saw, I knew originally, like, with the French like library, I saw this beautiful interior. It had, like, multiple levels and they were exposed. Like, you know, as you can see here, rooms, smaller rooms. And I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. I love it. So, after, like, I knew that I wanted to do that, I did more research on how this style looks like and I had so much trouble, like, figuring out how the rooms will be. Was I doing it right? Are these too small? Like I couldn't, I couldn't find. Like I saw pictures of the hallways, like the grand hallways with all the levels and everything, but I couldn't find the picture. You know that so that we could see what's in the room. So I was like, mm, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I decided. You know what? Let's improvise. And I did different rooms. So you have like the bigger library rooms bookcase rooms that have two bookcases I guess like in an L shape and then you have these that are more gallery shaped or like single wall shaped and like there are a couple of variations I didn't include every single obviously room because some of them were copy paste and changing little details because I obviously didn't want you know uh, the rooms to be completely identical there's no point in that. Nothing has the same decor. So I really wanted to, you know, make small changes here and there. So that's what I did. And there are in total four floors. I did so the top floor, essentially the fourth one, is exposed. The ceiling of it, you can kind of see it here. It has like a glass ceiling, those glass tiles we got with Island Living which I feel like worked really well. So the bring lighting, I decided not to use a roof because it was too limited and I didn't really like it. Like if I could use the glass roofs as flooring, that would be better, but that's, we, we cannot do that yet. No. Um, and yeah, it was very pretty and I liked it how, you know, light everything, even though it's very dark. Uh, so on the top floor, I had like a magazine section which at least my university library has like a magazine section. I've never visited it apart from, you know, the tour we had there. I don't know the purpose of it, <laughs> but I was like, let's add it. It makes sense. And then we have the two main floors, which have bookcases and then mainly, I guess it's study. Um, and then we have the basement, which We'll go last, I think, there. Here are, are these the magazine sections? Yes, these are the magazine sections. Um, and the last floors have the new research. We got a new research computer, I wanna say, and like normal computers. So that's what I did. And what else? Yeah, about the pack. Let's talk a bit about the pack. Um, I always do that in my first speed build. Uh, because I have gotten to explore the pack enough to have an opinion on it. And at least on the build items, I haven't touched the gameplay at all. <laughs> like, the only time that I pressed the live button, it was when I wanted to take screenshots. That's it. Uh, so, no opinion on the actual gameplay. Uh, but as come for the build items, I have to say that I don't like them. Neither the build nor the buy. 
And that's something that I haven't said before. Like, not that I haven't said before, but I kind of like the previous packs. Like, there was always something that I liked. For example, Strangerville. I said that I don't like the buy mode because I don't see me using it enough. Which is true, I haven't used it at all. But I really like the build mode items. I think the windows are beautiful. And I still stand by it. What had else we got then? Musino Staff Pack. Uh, I don't... Mm. I think the windows, again, are beautiful. I used the windows in this build, like the circular or like half circular ones. Uh, but the, the buy mode items, still cool. Get famous. Big mode items, cool. Buy mode items, way more luxurious than I usually build, so I don't tend to use them enough. Give me a water break. I need to drink water. Ah, my throat, like my voice, I'm losing it. Um, but this one, we got so many windows. Like, I don't even know, it's definitely more than 10. And that's cool and all, but the annoying part is I, I, I don't have anything to do with them. Why did we got three different style of windows in one pack? You know what I expect from a pack? Uh, as come to build my big mode items is having a set. Like having maybe medium high windows and small high windows. So I can combine them and not have everywhere the same windows. And so the windows, you know, have the same flow and the same look and the same color scheme. But now, no, now we got three completely different type of sets and I don't like them. I went to build the second build that I'm doing uh, for tomorrow, essentially. And I'm like, this sucks. I, I don't like the windows. I don't like the doors. We didn't get an art. And it's like the fence. Yeah. I don't like it. I actually don't like it. This freaking desk. Oh my god, it drove me insane. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but the keyboard is actually floating. Like, it's floating. Why the hell is it floating? Have you seen, like, half of it is touching the desk and the other half is in the air. Why? I hate it. Who thought about it? hate it um the buy mode items they aren't enough but i think that's relatively fine i'm not particularly mad but the ones we got i'm like eh. apart from the bookcases that i like kind of like like i can use them in other type of builds and the new action like quote-unquote action items like the debate uh podium and the How's it called? The robotic station, however it's called. Yeah, okay, cool. They are a gameplay, but is it limited gameplay? Yes, it is. And it's like, I hate them. I hate them with passion. Like, maybe those chairs I can see using them? That's it. That's it. I really hate the build and buy mode of this pack. Like, to me, it doesn't make any sense. Honestly, the windows drive me insane. I think we got four styles, right? Or five. Four or five styles. Because we got a modern one for Fox, Foxberry, which I'm not happy with the modern one. I haven't built with it yet, but I'm not particularly happy. We got one that matches the town, one that matches... How is it called? Bridgester University, I think? And one that's like... Ah, Hey, we have that. Let, let, let's give it to them. I don't like it. No, let's not do it again. <laughs> That's a big no. Like, are they cool looking windows? Let's get that straight. Yes, they are. Can I use them as a set? Kinda. Will they have more usability? Like pairing them with other packs? Mixing and matching windows? Different height with... We got one... Only one traditional looking tile, one tile traditional looking window. Why? And it's a tiny one. It's a tiny one. Why? 
I expect at least a one and a two tile one. Maybe a three tile one? If you're feeling nice? But I'm, just, I'm very triggered <laughs> and I'm very tired. It's currently 12 up to midnight. Midnight, yeah, it's midnight. And my bedtime, I'm a grandma, like not an actual one, but my bedtime is 10.30. And I've been up since seven and a half. And most of the time I was building. So I'm like a toddler. <laughs> my energy, when I wake up, it's all hi and when i'm getting tired i have zero energy and i'm very cranky so just putting that out there i'm not always like that i'm not always negative but i'm very cranky like ah. so um apart from the library i wanted you know to have more rooms you know I noticed, well, we have the space, first things first, we have the space, and I was like, I cannot make, you know, the bookcase rooms like 3 by 12 or something. So I was like, how do we, you know, utilize the space? So on the left side, I did a cafeteria, which I really like, you will see later. And on the right side, I did bathrooms with the new bath stools. That's one of the items that I actually like. Um, oh my god, the tables, look at it, it's floating, it's so annoying, okay, um, let's get it, <laughs> let's get it together, I did a classroom, so I searched for public library layout, and I saw classrooms, and it kind of made sense, you know, for people like to be able to do free classroom, and stuff like that, and get further education, so like, that's cool. And it could also be used as a multi-purpose room, so essentially you could remove all of that and use it, I don't know, for what else. And then we have the debate room, which I felt like it was cool, it was like a cute small addition, and a science room. I'm not sure if I particularly love that, but I think it's a cool addition. Uh, like, it's weird. Does it match with the library? Not exactly sure. And this is the administration office, which I saw that libraries have um and <laughs> this was the point that i was getting tired of building <laughs> i was hungry and i was like i, I was doing stupid shit <laughs> so essentially you have two offices you have the main i guess administrator office and then his secretary or you know so i decided you know to the main office to be very simple and like authoritative if you will and the other one to have like cute small details so you will see it has those cute new potted plants that's also something that i like from the the pack the potted plants they are adorable um it has you know the pot also the new lights the desktop lights so good they were so needed i hated the previous ones uh so the secretary has like potted plants she has like a pencil holder that's like the cute toddler one or kid like one and i guess an audio playing device i was like that's cute that's stupid you know she has like her little corner with cute stuff that are more like with personality not just an authority figure and i noticed that in my previous library that i'm trying to undo essentially this was me going against me, trying to create something better than what I've created before. I'm, I'm not sure, like, it's very detailed, <laughs> but did I do it? I don't know. I don't know. It's not up to me to decide. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to say is that I had an entrance, which makes sense to have an entrance. So I did like a little office, corner office, which couldn't fit anything there and at this point I was like uh isn't that very bare do I have to add anything yes I do what the hell do I add so I added some seating areas across all the um floors and then I realized later on um that you see I have this test table out which I wanted to include I wasn't sure where I wanted to include it but I wanted it to be there I remember on my first um, 
library. I was like, oh my god, it has this requirement. What do I do? And I recall I hid it in the roof. The good thing is this time around I could, you know, make it tiny, but I really wanted the test table. I feel like it adds something. So essentially, uh, the exterior, like the structure or the architecture of the build is inspired by uh, pff, tons of things. Uh, the architecture of Poland, like big building on Poland and like other similar buildings that Google thought it was a good idea to suggest me. So yeah, and then the landscaping. Originally, when I was going with the more American library, as I mentioned, I saw this beautiful library. I was so impressed. It has this, it had, I guess it still has, this huge glass dome. And I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. And I, I loved it. It was from Union, Union College, Union University. It's in the US, that's my point. Um, but it didn't obviously you know, match the theme. Uh, but it had this beautiful garden around it. Like, it was so pretty and so detailed. So I was like, yes, please <laughs> sign me in. And yeah, I kind of copied it and I think it looks amazing. So it had um, tables outside in front of essentially where my cafeteria at my build is. We have coffee tables or I guess just tables. So I was like, you think that's a cafeteria? Like why on earth would it have tables? And that's why I thought, let's do a cafeteria. It makes sense, right? And I also had one on again, the library that I'm trying to do. <laughs> Um, so I was like, yeah, let's add some. And then on the other side, I added test tables because I wanted to have them somewhere, but I didn't know where. And yeah, I was like, sure, that's cool. Oh, another item that I like from the pack, <laughs> the bicycles. <laughs> but other than that, I'm pretty disappointed. Like there are a couple of items that I'm like, oh, that's cool. But there is the same reaction with other packs too. Like, Okay, sure. I don't like the pack, but there are a couple of items that I like. So yeah, that's where I stand. And the coffee, the cafeteria, I guess. Sorry, I'm so tired. So, so tired. Um, I don't know, I just wanted it to be colorful. You will notice, like if you haven't noticed, I'm sorry, but you're probably not watching the video. The library is so like traditional and luxurious and I want to say regal, but I'm not sure if that's the right word. So I wanted the cafeteria to be more relaxed and chilled and colorful. Like I didn't want it to be a pipe. So I went to laugh on it <laughs> and I had so much fun. Uh, what else? The landscaping. Oh my god, uh, you will see in the screenshots. They are coming soon. Oh, also the paintings. That painting with the cat is the cat. I think it's the cat with the coffee. Was like that's perfect. Um, oh, the back. I don't know what I was about to say. Yeah, for the screenshots, it has this beautiful tree in the back that I love, surrounded with um, like you kind of kind of say it with benches. I'm so happy with it. So proud. So the back. The image that I saw had these beautiful windows, like top and ceiling windows, from, I guess, the bottom to the ceiling, but <laughs> I had so much trouble picking out windows. I'm not joking, I spent 45 minutes picking windows. I don't know what someone could have done in 45 minutes, but I was picking windows. <laughs> I wanted to create like, you know, again, from the bottom to the ceiling windows and I couldn't do it. Um, I was annoyed because the windows that we got and other wide windows that were more modern or like could go like to the top level, uh, didn't have a medium height or a small height version. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. And then the whites, because I wanted it to be white, didn't quite much so I was annoyed with that too and I I spent so long and I decided you know what that's okay 
that's okay let's ignore it and let's use the um realm of magic queen those weights what inspired the rest use of realm of magic and i think it works quite well with university like the windows at least and some of the items i have to say i quite used it in both of the builds uh realm of magic that is so beneath the windows at the top to bottom to top ceiling windows uh i added a door and Originally, it went nowhere. Like it had a one white tile, and that's it. So I was like, that doesn't really work. <laughs> we need to do something. So you either have a door that essentially leads to nowhere, or I need to do something. And it took me forever to figure out what to do. <laughs> I was like, do I use stairs? I don't know. Like at one point, I was like, it's okay. Is this a one tile window? or door doesn't go anywhere doesn't matter so this build will be available when the pack is available i currently don't recall when that is but that's when it's going to be available <laughs> don't ask me when that is i don't recall i'm tired and my throat is killing me also my back but i'm a grandma so that doesn't really matter um so yeah i don't know what else i'm supposed to say like i really hope you like it I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of how it turned out. I really like the exterior, especially how out of my comfort zone it was. I haven't done anything similar to that, like, you know, the particular European style. And the interior. Oh my god, the interior. Like, the, um, I guess, hallway or, like, hall of bookcases. I love it. I'm so proud of it. So proud. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it too and i hope that you'll have i guess an amazing day and take care bye